Um, one of the ideas that I think um, Steve has had is a Crawford's home for people with AIDS so that they're not putting them in public housing because a lot of um, disabled people will not move in here. And uh, we've got uh, Gary living at Walnut Grove and he is not the same person who lived at um, um, Country View. And um, I'm not the same person who lived um, in the Second Street building. So, um, I really think that should be done um, unless these people are put in jail where they belong. Because um, the, AIDS, the AIDS people that I've seen in this building got AIDS from bad criminal choices that they are continuing to make. It's no longer, you know, you're going to die really quick. Um, you know, it's not like in the days of Easy e where he just got a cold and then he died. Um, you know, so, um, and, um, you know, I know all this letting them move in here was because of what happened to Ryan White. Um, but see, the people here, they don't abuse criminals the way they abuse innocent victims. People don't become innocent victims because people are treating people right. I was treated every bit as bad. I'm still being treated every bit as bad as Ryan White was. I do not have AIDS. So if we want to do something for the people who are being, you know, the, the Jim Crow of the General Diploma versus the Core 40 situation, and um, all the states in the union not wanting an oversight committee on that, then we need to get the AIDS patients who are otherwise not qualified to be in public housing out of public housing and make this available to the people with real disabilities or the people who have really been abused without having deserved it. So, um... I really think that's a good idea. However, I think a, a law enforcement grant would go a longer way quicker to resolving the issue here with what is being piped into my house right now.